Hello, my name is Lynn Komjisha. You're watching News Around East Africa. We start off with Uganda. Details released by the Uganda police indicate that the assassin who on Sunday was going after ICT minister Aida Nantawa was wearing a bulletproof vest. But even then, it did not save him from the bullets of the patrol police who chased after him. His accomplice, with whom they were riding on a motorcycle, managed to escape with their gun. News coming in from Tanzania, the manager Tanesco, an electricity supply company in Kankonko district, Tanzania, has been ordered to resign if houses in all the 29 villages of Kankonko district have no power by June 30th. Energy Minister Meled Kalimani has also ordered the 10% of the project coordinator's salary be deducted if the target coverage is not achieved by the given period. Only time will tell if this will be achieved or not. News from Rwanda, talk of Rwanda's history. The 1994 Rwanda genocide cannot be ignored. News coming in show that remains of over 40,000 victims are to be reburied at the Rukumberi Genocide Memorial on May the 26th in Ingoma District. The development follows completion of the new decent burial site, given that the old burial site that currently houses the remains is dilapidated. Rukumberi is one of the areas that experienced the most gruesome atrocities during the 1994 genocide. We go off to Kenya. We wonder, are the Kenyan teachers the best in the world? Well, Mr. Peter Tabichi has bagged the 2019 Global Teacher Prize of one million US dollars. Tabichi is a graduate from Egerton University. The 36-year-old teacher at Keriko Mixed Day Secondary School has spent 12 years in the profession. He says he's grateful to God for beating the over. 10,000 nominees from 179 countries around the world. Away from East Africa, we take a look at what's making headlines around the globe. We start off with Mozambique. A number of people in makeshift camps after a powerful cycle in Mozambique has risen by 18,000 to 128,000. But the death toll remains roughly unchanged at 447, according to Land and Environment Minister Celso Correa. News from Ethiopia. Ethiopian airline said Monday it would keep close ties with U.S. plane maker Boeing, even though questions remain about its 737 MAX 8 model after crash shortly after takeoff this month killed 157 people. In Britain, British Prime Minister Theresa May is under pressure to give a date for leaving office as the price to bring Brexit supporting rebel lawmakers in her party behind her twice defeated European Union divorce today. Now off to Moscow, the Kremlin said today that it was ready to improve ties with the United States but that it was up to Washington to make the first move after the conclusion of a U.S. investigation into collusion between Donald Trump and Russia in the 2016 general elections. And that was the latest around East Africa and around the globe. We stay with Ruth Nasser who has more of this.